Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome to your sneak peek year at a glance uh, 2018 combination tarot and uh, astrology. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out, and we're ready to go, Capricorn. This is a seven card spread. Um, it's a yearly spread, so we'll see how things go. <laughs> First up, we have the Queen of Swords in the upright position. Now, this falls in the position of lessons from your previous year, and you've got the Queen of Swords in the upright position. Uh, I think Leo got this in the same position, too. This is about uh, lessons, I guess, that were in your life in 2017. There are some challenges perhaps you were facing that um, you needed to learn something from. So the Queen of Swords in the upright position as an energy. The Queen of Swords is somebody who uh, shoots from the hip, speaks their mind, and speaks their mind very clearly and decisively. And also, to the Queen of Swords cuts out any nonsense and anything that is not serving her. So it could be that for some of you that was your lesson for last year was to be sort of cutting away at the dead wood and getting rid of all the things that were not serving you in your life and also to speak up for yourself. So that's an interesting lesson to learn. <laughs> We've all had to learn that lesson at some point. <laughs> Okay, the next position is uh, what you can expect in the year 2018. Some energies around for that. And you have the Eight of Wands in the upright position. The Eight of Wands generally speaks of a lot of uh, communication and fast, rapid movement. Um, lots of activity can indicate travel, that kind of thing. So... As an energy for the year, I think it's pretty good energy because it could be that you're going to be having a lot of communication perhaps with a lot of people or traveling a lot even. So that's good energy to have for um, what's on the horizon for you. The next position is obstacles, a challenge you could be facing this year. So you pulled the seven of cups in the reverse position seven of cups upright this is uh, a little bit of confusing energy it's all about uh, having to make choices there's several options or several opportunities and we kind of have to narrow it down and pick something it can be very confusing energy however in the reverse position um, this is about settling in and making a choice and coming out of confusion so this as an obstacle card this could be representing um uh, it could be an obstacle for you to make a choice. Perhaps uh, throughout the year you might be struggling with uh, decisions, decision making. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's interesting. And then uh, the next position is how to harness your inner power. And you pulled the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. The Eight of Swords upright. This is all about uh, feeling restricted and bound. A lot of times it's sword energy, so it could just be our own thoughts that um, are keeping us restricted and bound. In reverse position, it's coming out of that feeling of restriction. That is really nice, I think, to in order to come into your your own power, meet your own superpower, it's, this energy is basically saying the way to do that is to come out of restrictive energy, restrictive thinking, uh, restrictive situations, and free yourself, and then you will come into your superpower. <laughs> okay, the next uh, position is advice, lessons you've learned last year, and could possibly build on, or not, <laughs> and you pull the five of cups in the upright position. The Five of Cups, this is the, the bit of a pity party card. It's about crying over spilt milk and not seeing what we have uh, left over. It's it's about dwelling upon what's gone and not about what's, uh, what's still there. So, hmm, and something perhaps that you, a lot of Capricorns, maybe you guys went through some uh, sad situations, maybe you experienced uh, some losses and, uh, and grief in 2017 and you were just sort of dwelling maybe on those losses and the sadness and um so this is something that you a lesson that you learned last year maybe the lesson was to um sort of come out of the grieving stage 
and realize that what's gone is gone and all you have to do is turn around and see the cups full of promise right behind you and maybe let go of the energies of, of feeling bad about what didn't work or what disappointed us. So the next position is um, guidance for the year ahead and you have the six of cups in the reverse. You have the seven of cups in reverse and now the six of cups in reverse. This is guidance for the year ahead. Now, as a guidance card, I would say, because the Six of Cups upright, this is about uh, happy memories from the past and, and um, you know, sort of reunions and, and feeling really good about the past. However, the card's in the reverse position. So, as a guidance card, it could be maybe uh, basically trying to say, wow, <laughs> I need to slow down my thoughts. I'm going faster than my mouth can go. I think this energy is basically trying to say that maybe as a guidance to stop maybe dwelling on the past when it's in the reverse position it can definitely point to that um, letting go because see oh I just realized you have the five six and seven of cups here and cups deal with our emotions right and it could be about letting go of the past once and for all and I think that's why this eight of swords is here too letting go of the restrictions this has a lot to do with letting go of the past maybe you're in a phase of of uh releasing things yeah it could be now the clarity your personal theme for the year you have the six of swords in the upright position this is a card that represents moving on literally moving taking a vacation taking a journey um, maybe some of you are going to be moving abroad or moving to another city state uh, country hmm what is your personal theme it's well it's about moving on now if I put this whole reading together it does make sense because it looks like in the past like in the two cards here representing 2017 is about learning to sort of come into your own power, learning to uh, speak your mind, and learning to cut out the dead weight. And the other card, the Five of Cups, is about sort of dwelling on past disappointments and loss. And that was what kind of like what 2017 was about. 2018 has some different energies going on. Uh, there's more activity. There's more fast movement. There's more communication. Um, coming into your power is about letting go of the restrictions. And now this card here stating uh, move on. So it's just trying to and the, the card about being stuck in the past as well. So it almost seems like you're wrapping up a cycle here, Capricorn. You're moving on from uh, the past restrictive energies and you're moving forward. You're definitely moving forward, but it's it's almost like chaotic energy right now. And it seems like your challenge is going to be about sort of settling in, maybe trying to zero in on whichever options that, you know, you're trying to get to. Because you're moving towards something. You're definitely moving towards uh, a, a destination here. But it seems like you might be having some, you know, up and down energy throughout the year and confusion about where exactly it is you're going. So that concludes the tarot portion of the read. We'll move on to a little tidbit in astrology. And this is just basically how uh, Jupiter is affecting um, all the other signs. So I'm going to read you a little bit about that situation for Capricorns. Friendships of all kinds grow during this transit because it's in your 11th house of friendship. So you may meet new people, especially through groups or organizations. This is a time to socialize. That could explain the Eight of Wands here. Uh, your capacity for connection is at a high point and you never know who you'll encounter. Hmm. Volunteer work may uh, help you connect with people who may play an influential role in your life. You may also become clearer about your future goals. If you have been thinking about expanding online presence, this is an excellent time to start a social campaign or a YouTube channel. So <laughs> that's some interesting stuff for you guys. Okay, Cappies, this concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye for now.